My team is called the Algal Biosystems and Biotechnology Team. We are involved in using algae as a way of adapting solutions to industry to solve their problems. Our research has a range of opportunities to both address mitigation and adaptation. So we can help to address climate change by producing new products that are carbon negative or carbon neutral that take atmospheric carbon and produce industrial products, whether that's pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, fuels, uh, feed, food, all of these products are going to help us mitigate climate change. We're starting to make plastics using algae and these plastics can cover a whole range of different industries. The second exciting thing that we've started doing is working with the Biologics Innovation Facility and this is where we're putting pharmaceuticals into microalgae and we're adapting microalgae as a form of producing high-grade pharmaceuticals and nutraceuticals. Currently we're working on a really exciting project in Southeast Asia where we're developing plastics and a range of other products to help farming villages, coastal farming villages, get out of poverty. What we're giving is a range of new commercial products that the families will then be able to have a greater income, they'll be able to send their kids to school, this is going to transform their societies and it's also going to be sustainable, it's going to prevent the, the plastic pollution in Southeast Asia. So this is really exciting. Into the future, the Algal Biotech and Biosystems team is going to have a very, very strong industry focus. We're very embedded with a range of industry partners now, but what I want to see is I want to see a porous movement of researchers from our institute working in industry for a period of time. I want industry people coming in and doing a secondment in C3. This is going to give us a really powerful, nuanced understanding of what industry needs and we're going to be able to translate our research into society much more quickly.